In the previous video, we explored the parts of a compound microscope. Now we will work through, step by step, the care and use of your compound microscope. We will assume that you know the parts of the microscope, so you may want to review before we begin. This video is intended for undergraduate student use, and so will not delve into the maintenance or repair of the microscope. You are not, under any circumstances, to tamper with or attempt to repair the microscope yourself. If there is a problem, report it to your TA immediately. Uncover your microscope and position it in front of you. Rotate the revolving nose piece until the four times objective clicks into position above the hole in the stage. Be careful when rotating this nose piece. Do not rotate past the 40 times objective if it has the chance of hitting the stage. Using the coarse focus knob, lower the stage until it is at least 4 centimeters below the 4 times objective lens. Raise the condenser as high as it will go using the condenser adjustment knob. You will see the condenser lens protrude slightly through the hole in the center of the stage. Take a piece of lens paper and clean all of the visible lenses. This includes oculars, objectives, condenser, and the surface of the light source. Be careful to not touch the glass surface of the lenses with your fingertips. The oils in your skin can cause damage. Open the iris diaphragm by moving the adjustment lever completely to the left. If you are using an Olympus model CH or CH2, adjust the light intensity control to 7. If you are using an Olympus model CH30, set the intensity to 3.5. Turn the power switch on. Look through the ocular lenses. Try to keep your eyes about 2 centimeters from the surface of the lenses. One of the oculars, usually the right ocular, has a black pointer which extends partway across the field of view. Now adjust the oculars for the distance between your eyes, called the interpupillary distance, by moving the oculars together or apart until you can only see one field of view. This will look like a single circle of light when properly aligned, with no shadows or overlaps. Write down the interpupillary distance so that you can make this adjustment more easily in the future. Obtain a slide to use for calibrating your microscope. This may be supplied by your lab instructor or a slide that you have made yourself. Open the spring-loaded slide holder and insert the slide into the bracket. Gently release the slide holder so that the slide is held in place. If you are not careful, you may damage the slide. While looking at the slide from the side of the microscope, not through the oculars, use the mechanical stage controls to position your specimen over the hole in the stage. The bottom part of the control moves the slide from side to side, while the top part moves it back and forth on the stage. You should see your specimen become illuminated by the light from below. Look through the right ocular lens with your right eye and close your left eye. Turn the coarse focus knob until the image comes into sharp focus. Next, look through the left ocular with your left eye with your right eye closed. To adjust this ocular, turn the adjustment ring near the base of the left ocular. Do not use the coarse focus knob. Now open both eyes. Your specimen should be in sharp focus. By focusing each eye independently, you will correct for any differences in vision between your eyes. This means that, unless you have astigmatism, you can use your microscope without prescription glasses if you wish. The next step is to set the condenser, which focuses the light from the light source directly onto your specimen. Place a pencil on the surface of the light source and look through both oculars. 
you should see a fuzzy, indistinct shadow of the pencil superimposed on the image of your specimen. Using the condenser adjustment knob located on the left of the stage, not the focus adjustment knobs, slowly lower the condenser until the shadow becomes sharp. If it sharpens and then softens again, raise the assembly until the shadow is at its sharpest. You must set the condenser every time you begin to use a microscope. Do not assume that it is set correctly from the last time your microscope was used. Now you will need to adjust the iris diaphragm, which will maximize resolution and increase the depth of field. Use the adjustment lever to slowly close the iris diaphragm until there is a slight loss of light. You will need to adjust the iris diaphragm every time you change objectives. Now that your microscope is set, you are ready to switch to the 10 times objective. Center the specimen in the field of view and rotate the nose piece so that the 10 times objective clicks into position. If your specimen is not centered, you may lose it during this step. If that is the case, just rotate back to the four times objective and center your specimen. Using only the fine focus knob, focus on the specimen. Center it if necessary. Now, adjust the iris diaphragm by moving the adjustment lever. With the specimen focused and centered on 10 times, rotate the nose piece until the 40 times objective lens clicks into position. If you could not see the specimen on 10 times, do not switch to 40 times. You will not be able to find it on 40 times if you could not find it on 10 times. Adjust the iris diaphragm if the image is too dark or too light, and focus using only the fine focus knob. If at any time you lose the image or cannot find your specimen, return to the four times objective and begin again. While it may feel like you're losing progress, it is faster than spending time hunting around using the 10 times or 40 times objectives. Once you've finished with the sample, rotate back to the four times objective. You can now open the slide holder and remove your slide. If you are finished for the day, turn off the light source and replace the dust cover if applicable. That is, from start to finish, how to set up and use a typical compound microscope. If you had trouble at any step, please ask your TA for clarification or to go through it with you in person. A few key points to leave you with. First, clean the lenses. Second, set the light intensity. Third, center the specimen and focus each eye independently on four times. Fourth, set your condenser and iris diaphragm. Fifth, Switch to 10 times, focus, center, and adjust the iris. And finally, switch to 40 times, focus, center, and adjust the iris.